The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. We are so glad you could join us today. We are going to learn some wonderful things about our Creator. And I'm excited to have Professor Roy with us, Sebastian, Hannah, uh, Ethan, and Yana. Are you ready? Yes! I'm, ready. I'm wondering, what are we doing right now? Well, I think we're going to talk about lenses, maybe? Ooh! Like these kind? <laughs> yeah, you can have glass lenses, uh, eye lenses, uh, contacts. You have contacts, right? I do. Cool. I have contacts. Right. So what, why do we need lenses for anyways? What do they help us do? See better. They help us see better, don't they? They help us to focus, okay? They help us to focus. And they're, they're all different sizes, aren't they? Yeah. We have all different sizes lenses, and they, they all have a purpose. Well, today what we're going to do outside is we're actually going to use water as a lens. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, could you hold a water lens in your hand? No. Well, it would be a little awkward, wouldn't it, okay? It'd be like holding a glass of water still and you're trying to read something through it. But we've got something outside that makes a water lens. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to start a fire with water. Oh, Did you know you can you start a fire with water? That. No. Can you no, do that? You no. can. Ah. You can start a fire with water. In fact, <laughs> if we had more time, you know, we could start a fire with ice. Ice. Now, ice is colder than fire, isn't it? Yes, but you can start a fire with ice. But we're going to, we can do this just by using lenses. So we're going to use water for a lens, and we're also going to use some lenses that are very, very interesting lenses. And we're going to look at ourselves through different types of lenses. Will that be fun? Yeah. That would be. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's head on out. What do you have for us, Professor Roy? Well, we're going to talk about lenses. Lenses. So, does anybody wear glasses like me? Because I have to wear glasses if I want to read. Okay. Nobody wears glasses. I right? have contacts. You have um, contacts. Okay. I do. Well, you know, I have to compare. Do, do you have lenses? Do you have any lenses? No. Do you have any lenses? Every, you know, everybody has lenses. Where are your lenses? In your eyes. In your eyes. That's right. Our eyes have lenses in them, right? And that's how we focus, right? And if we're, uh, if we're nearsighted, that means we can see things up close, right? And if we're farsighted, then we can see things, you know, further away. That's cool, isn't it? I think so. But our eyes can adjust for close and, and, and further away. What I have right here is I've got some of these right here. Heck, check that out. Here, check one of those out. Look at this one right here. Check that one out. That's interesting, isn't it? And you can look at this one right here. You know, all of these are what? What are these called? Magnifying glasses. Magnifying glasses or, or lenses, right? Cool. Now these right here, if you put your fingers on this right here, it's kind of rounded, right? It goes like this. It's shaped, it's shaped like this. It goes like this and it bulges in the center and then it goes thinner to the side. Can you feel that? And so that it makes a lens. But you know what? The one that you have right here, does it bulge? No. Now, now pick this one up. Pick this flat one up. You pick this flat one up. Okay. Nope. There you go. She's got one. Okay. Go I can have one too. Uh -huh. Yep. Does that bulge? No, it doesn't bulge. It's flat. Can you imagine that? So what, what they've done is they made a magnifying lens that is flat. And that's pretty cool because you know what? This would be kind of tough. This would, this would take up more room in your pocket or your purse, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you, this would be, you could put this in a book and you wouldn't even break it because these are flexible. And but don't bend them because we don't want <laughs> Too it much. to break. That's interesting. <laughs> now, what I wanted you to think about was this. Now, you've got this lens right here. Now, there's two sides, right? One side is flat, and it's very, very flat, and there's no little grooves in it, but if you turn it over, now feel that one. Feel that one. Feel it. Aunt Francie? Yep, I felt it. So there's grooves like in there. You know what? Those grooves are very important. Without those grooves in these lenses, it wouldn't work. It would be just like a flat piece of plastic, okay? And that couldn't help us see at all, could it? It'd be like a window. But each one of those grooves, if you look at it very, very carefully, each one of those grooves is cut at a different angle. Can you imagine? There's hundreds of those little grooves. Kind of reminds me of a record, you know, an old-timey record where they played music from a record. But you guys don't know what records are, do you? 
No, no, no. But that's, that's I do, a... unfortunately. Okay, all right. Well, that doesn't date you, that's for sure. But those are little tiny grooves, and that's what makes a flat lens like this. It makes it look and perform just like our thick lenses that are, you know, thin in the in the on the sides, and they get thicker on the middle, and then thinner on the edge. How cool is that? So this these are called a Frenzo lens. That's pretty cool, and we use it in in optics. In fact, you know, if I if I put my can, can you see what I look like? <laughs> Did that change? 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 I mean, that's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So each one of these has a focal point. Has it has a focal point? And if you put this, and if we want to read the newspaper, if I hold the lens way out like this from from my reading from the words, you know what? It's all blurry. Check it out. Hold hold it real far away and see if you can read anything on that paper. Can you think? Um... I can see a big Okay, now move it closer, move it closer, move it closer, move it closer until you can see it just absolutely perfect. Whoa. So that's what we call the what? That's the focal point, right? So the focal point is when you can see it very, very distinctly, and that's the focal point of each lens. Different lenses have different focal points. Hey, you know what? We made a very special lens, and it's over here, and it looks like it's a tower, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But there's something special on top of the tower. Here, come on over here. Check this out. I'm going to bring my newspaper over here. And I think I'm going to put my safety glasses on, too. Check this out. Yeah, gather around over here so we can see. Check out that. What's, on, what's, in, the, what's in the top? Water. It's water. Now, the answer, can water be a lens? Yes. Well, look at the shape. Does that shape, does that shape kind of look like a lens? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of roundish, right? Kind of roundish, that's interesting. So you know, all we have to do is we have to find a focal point. But look on the ground right here. And so it's taking the sunlight, the sun is, has a tremendous amount of energy, and what that, 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 that spot of water is doing, it's taking all of the solar energy that's shining on just the water, and it's focusing all of that energy into one point, or into just this little tiny point right here. So look, all we have to do is to figure out where the focal point is, so you can put your hand in that sunlight, okay? And then if you put oh, it, hot. if you go further and further up, and when it gets the hottest, and you know that's the focal point. Isn't that cool? Is that hot? Yes. Hot. It's really hot. And where do you think the focal point is? You want to try it real quick? Right here. Right, here. right about there? It's okay. hot. Now let's see what Don't we can do here. with that. Can we do some work with that? Yes. Well, that's what we call solar energy. And every night and every day, every night, every night and every day, the sun is, is on, isn't it? Does the sun ever turn off? No. <laughs> the sun never turns off, okay, but we have nighttime because we're in the dark side. But let's try to get that focal point where that sun is the hottest, okay, and I'm going to feel it with my hand. Let's see, it's, uh, it's what, it's down here. Wait, hang, no, wait, 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 I, I need to get all of it if I can. I'm going to get it to the hottest point on my hand without burning my skin off. Oh, right there! <laughs> and let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can gather all of that heat oh. energy. Oh. What happens right here? See what happens burning with that paper. heat. What's happening to my paper? It's burning. It's burning. That's interesting, isn't it? So that is solar energy, and that solar energy is amazing, isn't it? We use solar energy for heat, don't we? Yeah. And we use solar energy for what? Light? You know, we get a lot of light from the sun as well. It's interesting. And so there's my little newspaper right here, and it's getting so hot. Oh, look, oh, step back, Whoa, step back. Fire. What do we got? Fire. Fire. We got a fire. We started a fire with water. Did you know you could start a fire with water? No. That's, I'm going to set it down on the ground. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. So we actually set a fire by using water. But you know, can water put out a fire? Yeah. Oh yeah, water can put out a fire and it can also start a fire. That is wild. That wow. is wild, That's isn't it? Okay, well I'll tell you what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some heat away from that. I'm just gonna put that on top of right there. Oh, let's take some heat oxygen, and some right? oxygen away from it mm -hmm. and we don't have to worry about it. That's cool. Hey, let's go back over to the let's table. Go. Okay, and uh, I think we're gonna be okay right there. Yep, I think Might so. wanna move the paper away from that spot right here. And you know what I have right here? Water, water bottle. I got a water, water bottle. bottle. But you know what? We know that water can start a fire, can't we? Yeah. That's interesting. Well, you know, should you ever throw bottles like this away? No. 
No. Some no. people do, but instead of throwing away, we ought to do what? Recycle. We ought to recycle, that's right. But you know, just a water bottle like this, if there's a little bit of water inside of it, you can actually focus the sunlight through it, and you could actually start a fire with a little bottle of water like this by holding it just right. Because water, we can make a lens out of water, can't we? Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Yeah. But you know, that sun is amazing, isn't it? Can we live without the sun? No. Can't live without the sun. Can't do it because our earth would get too wet. Cold. cold. Get too cold. And we don't want to be too cold, could we? No. We don't. Not at we all. We don't want to. No, we don't. So I, I have to say, now, you know not to do this at home, right? Yes. You think right. it works with a magnifying glass, too? Have yeah. any of you tried it? Yeah. yeah. Shall we try it? Yeah. 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 You want to try it? I always want to try it. Do you think it'll work with this one? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. We might not have enough time, but let's try it, okay? okay. All right. I want to see. Let's go I back over here. I want to get some newspaper. Can you get a piece of paper? I'm okay. Gonna, oh, this one seems a little different. Okay. Want to try it? Okay, let's try it. Oh. Let's see. Oh, this one was a pretty picture. A coloring book. So, again, are you going to do this at home? No. No. Do it at so, somebody else's house. Yeah. No, <laughs> no we don't no. want to do it at somebody else's house, but okay. this might take a little while. But here, see, move around here. So, so, so sometimes, could... sometimes, oh, I might not have the focal point. Got to get it just oh, right. I got it. Oh, Aunt Francine's yeah. having And trouble. I've got the Frenzel lens, too, and I'm going to try the Frenzel lens, and this is a piece of wood. Think we could burn burn the piece of wood with this Ooh. Frenzel lens? Oh. Yeah, it's oh. fast. What's happening? Burning, it's, burning. it's smoking, it's smoking, it's smoking. How cool is that? Oh, that started, started on fire. We we're oh, burning oh, wood. Oh, Let's see. Here, let me see trouble. if I can burn your paper with this too. There's our I focal point. I thought I could do it on this one, but I'm not. And be doing careful too because well. it's on fire. Okay, don't get burned. Isn't that interesting? That is yeah. wow. Wow, that is quite that amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. Cool. Now they say where there's smoke, there's what. Fire. There's, There's fire. fire. Okay, it's still yeah. smoking, so we have to be very careful with that. This is exciting. I appreciate it. Let's put this out. We want to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Gonna put it. How many of you are ready to go back inside? That was fun. Now, I've done something with a magnifying lens before, but never like that. That was just wonderful. Didn't you enjoy that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was just amazing. What did you think? Oh, Oops, I sorry. always like fire. Yeah, but... You're not going to play with fire at home, right? No. no. Okay, we're not playing with fire. We already know the safeties on that, right? That's right. But we have to be very careful with fire, don't we? We do. We cook with fire. We need fire That's to right. stay we warm. We warm ourselves up with fire. Yeah. And we have the sun, and it warms our planet up. Right. What would we do without that warmth from the sun? You're right. And it reminds me, I mean, I like playing with magnifying lenses because sometimes we want to look closely at Scripture. Sometimes we want to just discover more about God's Word. And I'm thinking of a text in Jeremiah. Can you find the Bible for me? And I think it was Jeremiah, was it 2911? Yep. Jeremiah 2911. What does that say for us, Yana? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. The more we study God's Word, the more we can examine and look in those lenses because God can give us the energy and the fire, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. to do God's will. We need to have that energy for Jesus, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I like having that. And a magnifying lens, how many of you have a magnifying lens? It's hard to find them. Have you looked for one in the, in the stores? I've tried to find them. They're not easy to find, but if you have one, take that time to look at things a little more closely and think about the Bible text, about looking into the Bible, don't you think? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I love r reading more about God. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. and I'm so glad. So what did you like about outside today, Sebastian? Mm, lighting the things on fire was pretty I fun. think so, too. I just didn't imagine that we could use water to start a fire. Mm -hmm. Did you think that? I didn't think that was possible. I'm so glad that you are here with us, so thank you for joining us. It's been fun. Thank it you. It has been fun. This is a wonderful time, and this is where we can see God's creation all around us because creation is... It's fun!